friends and welcome to my little workstation in the corner of the garden. It's not much but this is where I actually spend a lot of my time bringing things back here, things that I need. This is kind of where I store everything or pot up new little new little treasures that I place throughout the garden and today I'm really excited to share with you. Um, I've had this lantern forever and you know what I've used it one year and never used it since because I'm like you know, it's beautiful, it's a natural piece, but it just really didn't match our decor until all of a sudden it was like a light bulb last night when I was in the basement looking for creative things to plant up. I was like, let's plant this up. So today I'm gonna to show you how I plant this up with succulents. And it is so easy, cause our log succulent container, let me go grab that. This guy right here that I planted up at the beginning of the season, Jason made this for me out of an old birch log and it could really use a trim. There are so many beautiful succulent cuttings on here. I'm going to show you how easy it is to duplicate cuttings and create a container with those cuttings. That's all we did with this one. So uh, let's get started. The first step is to go ahead and cut some of our cuttings. So here's that beautiful birch log container and uh, I actually see a little little weed here. This is actually those little miniature trees that kind of pop up all over. So I'm just going to throw that over there for now. And um, all I'm going to go ahead and do is kind of just snip some of, some of the tips here. So like this one here, I'm just going to go ahead and snip right there. And all of these actually would make great little cuttings. So I'm just going to snip a few of these because we can make a couple containers. And really you could just leave these as well, just let it grow out. But I don't want this to end up covering the birch log. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a few little cuttings for our project here. So I could go ahead and cut these right here, but I really love how these look in the birch log as is. So I'm not going to cut these because these are still my beautiful container that I keep on our little kind of um, coffee table over in the sitting area. So I don't want to like cut it down too much and take away the beautiful texture of the succulents. So I was just kind of trimming this one up and then we're going to go ahead and trim up some of these succulents up here is what I'm going to use because they're not in a container where they're, you know, being shown or anything. So I figured that they would actually be kind of nice to cut off of because they really need to get potted up. So I figure I'll trim them, use the cuttings, and then we'll go ahead and pot those up so they can keep providing beautiful cuttings for us. So with the succulents that get the beautiful, bigger, showier heads like this, I always like to go with some of the little miniatures that are popping up here and I cut those off. And you could go ahead and cut the whole top off, but I like to keep the main plant as is and if they're producing these little ones, that's what I end up cutting because they're going to be new plants anyways. And as you can see, there's some roots already growing on there and when I go ahead and stick these. I really just take off all of the the old leaves too so that way we're not sticking them with um, any bad leaves in there. We're giving it the best chance it has to take off. So with this one here you can see that there's a few little ones starting so I'm actually going to bump this out of the pot so I can get a better uh, grasp at them. And I'm going to go in there and cut them down. And there it is. And as you can see, there's still a little root on there, but I'm going to stick that in the soil anyway, and that'll be a beautiful succulent, just like that one there. And I have a really creepy spider web here, so I'm always really careful because I just, I never know where that, you know, that spider is going to come out of. I, I know I'm a gardener, but I am so afraid of those creepy spiders. Daddy long legs, I'm okay with. Um, but it's just always those ones that look the garden spiders, you know, or the um, the jumping spiders The ones that look like little miniature tarantulas. Ooh, and look at all these beautiful cuttings here So I could really just pot this up into its own pot 
and just let it take off and go and I will do that but I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a few of these for my containers I like to keep some succulents on hand just specifically for cutting and creating some fun cool containers take a look at all of these beautiful succulent cuttings that we have here so I think we're good I think we're ready to start our container so here's our little creative container we're gonna play with today I'm super excited cuz then uh, I'll show you what we'll do after with it I'm gonna get my gloves on and normally with something like this I would line the bottom with some type of a plastic to protect it but because I haven't used this thing in almost 10 years I'm just gonna go ahead and plant it and um, get its use out of it and if if it rots it rots you know that that's just how it's gonna go all right so we got our container and I don't have to drill drainage holes because as you can see there's spacing between these pieces of wood in the bottom so that's where the the water can can drain from and we may get a little bit of um you know soil coming out of there a little bit at first but once it's rooted in it should be pretty good go ahead and place some potting soil inside i'm just going to use my hand i think that's going to be easier so i'm just going to go ahead and place that soil inside here and i'm going to push the soil down so that way it becomes a little bit more compact. Okay, and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna actually wet down the soil and I'm gonna use my mist sprayer so that way it doesn't just overflow out of here. I love these Fogget nozzles by Dram and it kind of puts out a fine mist they come in a few different sizes i have the set of three and i'll put the link for these in the description of this video just to make it easier for you to find them um, or you could even use a regular spray bottle and just put it on a misting setting all right and i'm going to go ahead and turn on my hose and we're just going to go ahead and give everything a fine mist until it soaks through Once I see it dripping through the bottom, that's when I know we're good to go and it feels a lot heavier. And now we are ready to go ahead and plant it up and it's super easy. And from here it's actually pretty easy. So all I do is use a toothpick. You can use anything you want. I just create a pre-hole and then I stick that succulent into that hole. And that's it. And you can place them however you want. Just remember that some are trailing, some aren't. When you're doing this, you can keep them really close if you want. You can keep them really compacted like I did in the log. With this one, I'm just going to give them just a little bit of spacing I'm adding more of the trailers along the front so that way they can kind of trail out of there and you can play around with them a little bit too to see what you like in that spot better than the other this one's a little bit more difficult because the wood areas go up and down so it's kind of hard to figure out right where to put them there we go that's perfect perfectly stuffed right there Put something colorful right here kind of right there kind of right out of that log and I'm gonna push in on that soil so that way it covers that that little clipping there with this one I'm gonna take a few of the bottom leaves off so that way we have a cleaner clipping to stick in when there's leaves sometimes they can pop out of that dirt and we don't want that to happen and you can do this with any type of container, even in a pot, if you want to make it a little easier on yourself. I maybe chose a little bit more of a next level up difficulty style container because of the different heights of these. It's hard to get in there, um, but it's ultimately going to be absolutely gorgeous. And I'm actually going to just put a little hole right there and stick one in between right there. 
And then I'm going to go in from the inside and kind of push down on that a little bit so that way it really holds in there. Since this one already has a root, I kind of made more of a circular area to kind of drop it in rather than just like a small little sliver hole to stick the clipping in so that way it can sit right in the soil right there. There we go. I'm going to just double up on these because they're two different ones. So that way we have two different varieties mixed together trailing out on this side, kind of create a little something different. And there you have it. And I think I'm going to add a couple more just coming out of the logs here as well. And then we just finish it off with a candle. Or add a bouquet of flowers. You can even hang it for a hanging bouquet and succulent planter. I have all kinds of extra succulents left, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a nice little container in a nice little terracotta pot. That's where I love my succulents the most. some good ideas gets those creative juices flowing for you and uh, just have fun just have fun and don't worry about what you're snipping or cutting because it'll regrow right here so have an awesome day and if you don't already please feel free to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you so much